Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube Snapstack channel. Today I'm gonna introduce how to set up SecureCRT and Putty to connect into your remote server using PSMP, PSM proxy. As you can see from my diagram, I'm having 192.168.2.27 configured as our PSM SSH server. If you log in, your PVWA, check your system health. You should be able to see PSMP app underscore PSMP user to connect into your vault. I already configured one remote server using PSMP to connect into. As you can see, we can use our regular connect button to connect into it. working. You can find out uh, it's using the username NetSec as I configured here. You also can verify the, the session from the recording here, which I just did using administrator login and SSH. I'm going to show how to use Party session to do that. It will be similar. For example, if we want to put um, our PSMP server IP here, you will see the login. This is first time, so we check the yes for the certificate. SSH key fingerprint. So we're going to log in as our normal user, which is our domain user, user here. Test one, and then your domain user's password. And then your target user will be netsec. And your remote server, which is our server in the cloud. As you can see, this session is been recorded. PSM is recording a session and then we are using NetSec to log in. That's the one way how to use in party. We also can program it with auto logon username. So we're going to use test one at going to use our privilege account at sec. We're going to put our destination in, which is 40.115.97.97. Save this, make sure it's there, and then to open. In this way, we just need to type in our domain user password. Now, all will be taken care of by PSM session. If you are having secure CRT, the things can be much easier even. That's the session I created before. Let's start from beginning. New session, SSH2. Host name will be our PSM server. Username will be on NAS, our test1 at netsec at server IP. Hostname will be your PSMP server IP, and the username needs to follow in this format. Next, you can save a session as your remote uh, server. Remote target. So we know we're gonna 
using PSMP to log into remote 40.115.97.97. I'm going to connect to it. So first time, they're going to ask you the like, password. You can click Save Password. And this, as you can see, the session is being recorded. We are using username NetSec and uh, the welcome from Ubuntu, and then you log in. You can disconnect it. Next time when you do connection, it will be much easier because the password has been saved. In this time, you even don't need to type in any password. It will be in directly because the password has been saved with the SecureCRT software. That's how you configure your SSH client to work with PSMP server. Let's look at another popular SSH client, Mobile Xterm, which is also one of my favorite uh, SSH client. It is similar like we did for Party and the CircuitCIT. You need to create a session, which is SSH, SSH session, and then IP will be our PSMP IP 192.168.2.27. We need to specify our username. So I already created the PSMP user one, which is using username test one at NetSec at the remote server IP and then password. We're going to use in this as our username for this connection. Click OK. The session is going to be automatically added into your left panel. And then it will be logged in automatically as well. You don't need to type anything since we already typed the test one's password here. As you can see, this session has been recorded and uh, using the username NASAC to log in. Here is welcome banner from Ubuntu. It's simple, easy, with the PSMP configuration. Native client can be used to connect to remote. This time, let's try Windows SCP, WinSCP program, which is a very popular SSH file transferring tool. Create a new session, host name. We're going to change the username to using our PSMP. Test1, NASDAQ, remote site. Zero dot one one five dot nine seven dot nine seven password will be test one password save as to login we already logged in as NetSec you can see the user here. We cannot tell if it's uh, our server or not, but uh, we should be able to create a file there and then see. So we are at PWD. So this is our previous session using SSH. We can uh, create a file, PSMP remote. Target server. Then from here, we should be able to see there's a NASDAQ folder and we should be able to see the file here. Refresh. So that proves we are logged in through PSMP and we can do file transferring. We just transfer WP dash config the PHP file to remote. And then we can verify through our session, remote session here. And we can see our IP. 
which is 40.115.97.97. So all those native SSH client, Win SCP, SQCIT, Party, Mobile Extern, works very well with PSMP, this software. And that's all. Thank you for watching today. Thank <laughs> you.